Hey guys, what's up? You're watching Brett Slap at Alban. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Windows 8 boot test for the developer preview that was released just a few days ago. Uh, so first off, this is going to be kind of an unscientific test because there is a bootloader that I'm going to be showing you, or you will see uh, just in a few moments that uh, kind of pauses in the middle of the boot up. Uh, so it's going to be kind of an unscientific test, but it's also going to be kind of a real world situation type boot up test. Uh, so if you guys are interested in my specs for my computer, I am running on an Intel Core i3 second generation processor. It's clocked at 3.1 gigahertz or 3.10 gigahertz, whatever you want to uh, call it. Um, I currently do not have a solid state drive installed in my computer. Uh, I currently only have a Seagate 1 terabyte 7, uh, 7200 RPM uh, hard disk. Uh, what else is there to say? I'm pretty sure that's all. Uh, the specs you need to know. Uh, sorry for the shakiness of this video, I am having to record this from my iPod Touch, uh, so apologies in advance if this is kind of shaky for you, but uh, anyways. Why don't we get started with this, and I'll boot up my computer here, so here we go. Uh, the first few moments aren't going to be so important because it is going to be just loading up my BIOS and all that good stuff. It's not going to be really loading the operating system quite yet. So probably after this. And you can see right there, there's the new uh, spinning wheel type thing for loading stuff. I'll also show you some of the new, uh, cool things in the new bootloader. Uh, so this is the new bootloader. I also have Windows 7 currently installed on my computer. Uh, simply because I do not want to get rid of it and it is my main operating system. But yeah, this is pretty much the new bootloader. It's much prettier, I guess you could say. Uh, you have some more options down here and uh, you can set the timer for which default operating system we want to boot up into. You can choose a default operating system and you can choose other options. I'm pretty sure in the other bootloaders previous to this that you could not access these options. Uh, but that's pretty cool. It's sort of... Uh, taken away or going away from the command line having to use a keyboard and now you can have a uh, mouse to change or choose your operating system. Uh, so over here is the Windows Developer Preview. This would be Windows 8 so let's just go on into this and it'll load up Windows 8. I don't have a password set on this so don't have to enter it in and there we go BAM Windows 8 is loaded up. We can go to the desktop there we go works just great and uh, that's pretty much it for this quick video, just showing you guys uh, the boot time of Windows 8 on uh, my computer. It's sort of a mid-range um, type computer for speed. Of course it is going to vary for different computers since you have different specs uh, for each machine. And uh, what's this? Oh, mobile device service? Okay, that's apparently crashed on boot up. That is fascinating. Uh, but yeah, anyways, again, this is going to be different speeds for different computers. Some might be more powerful, some a little less. Uh, but this is just a quick glimpse, uh, quick glance, yikes, at um, uh, the boot speed of Windows 8. So if you like this video, please be sure to hit the like up button and uh, comment down below if any thoughts uh, you may have or any general questions. And uh, also subscribe up top for more videos on this and uh, other iOS type videos. And until next time, guys, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.